हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो लेक्चर दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ सेंट्रीफिकल वर्म इन फर्स्ट पार्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन प्रिंसिपल वर्किंग एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सेंट्रीफिकल पम्प एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेलोसिटी ट्राइंगल ऑफ सेंट्रीफिकल पम्प मीन्स हाउ टू ड्रॉ वट इज द बेसिक बिहाइंड द वेलोसिटी ट्राइंगल फॉर सेंट्रीफिकल पम्प ओके सो इफ यू हैवेंट सीन माई फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ सेंट्रीफिकल पम्प प्लीज गो थ्रू दैट टू क्लियर द बेसिक्स ऑफ सेंट्रीफिकल पम्प ओके so in this video let us discuss about the velocity triangle of centrifugal pump so here i have written the short forms that we are going to use in the velocity triangle and here here is a blade of impeller okay and here is the impeller i the water will enter through this and it will get out through this okay so there is a inlet and outlet so we are going to use one as a subscript for inlet and two as a subscript for outlet okay this is the radius of inner circumference in which this point will move and this is the radius for outer circumference in which this point will move okay and this is the tangent at this point and this is tangent at this point okay i hope you understand till here okay now in our introduction part in part 1 i have told you that the water will enter radially in the impeller okay the water will enter radially okay so if the water will enter radially so the direction will be somewhat like this okay and the water i am saying only for the water so this is the absolute velocity of water okay absolute velocity of water v okay and as this is inlet triangle so this is v1 okay i hope you got it okay now if the blade is moving in this direction so tangential velocity will be in this direction okay so let us draw tangential velocity so this will be the tangential velocity u and again as this is inlet triangle so this will be u1 okay so the finally the water will enter with the relative of v and u okay so this will be the relative velocity v r1 in which the water will enter in the impeller or blade okay so now the water will enter with this velocity and it will get out it will exist with this velocity and that will be what v r2 okay and now here the as the blade is moving in this direction so u tangential velocity will also be in this direction this okay now u2 will be greater than u1 how because u is what u is pi d n by 60 so for outer circumference r is more so d will also be more okay if d is more then u2 will be more because u is directly proportional to d and d2 is more so u2 will be more so this is u2 at exist okay and you will get u1 like sorry v1 sorry v2 v2 like this this is the absolute velocity at exist absolute velocity at inlet okay this is tangential velocity at inlet tangential at outlet relative at inlet relative at outlet okay now let us see this angles okay now this alpha and beta is the angle between v and u alpha is for inlet beta is for outlet similarly theta is for inlet and phi is for outlet so alpha is the inlet angle between v and u so this is v and this is u so this is what alpha okay and beta is outlet angle between v and u this is v and this is u this will be what beta okay this is theta and phi theta is for inlet and phi is for outlet theta is the inlet angle between v r and u v r and u this is theta and phi is between v r and u at outlet v r and u this is what phi okay now we have to see something more now if this is v absolute velocity so it will have two components one is horizontal component if this is angle theta this is v cos theta and this is vertical component this is v sin theta okay v cos theta the horizontal component is whirl velocity and the vertical component is flow velocity okay now when this angle theta this will become 90 degree then v cos theta will be zero because cos 90 is zero so v cos theta will be zero so v w will be zero okay so in this case this will enter radially so this angle will be 90 degree from tangent so this angle will also be 90 degree okay so as this will be 90 degree means theta is equal to 90 degree here okay or we can say that alpha is 90 degree so angle is 90 degree so it will not have v w okay it will not have the horizontal velocity and it will only have the vertical velocity okay which is what vf 
and here v1 is acting as the vertical velocity so here we can say that v1 is equal to vf1 and vw1 will be zero okay i hope you understand because the entering velocity v1 is at a 90 degree with the u tangential velocity so the v1 vw1 is zero and v1 is equal to vf1 okay and at exit this is v2 so we can take two components this is v this is vf2 the vertical velocity and this is vw2 the horizontal velocity okay and this complete is u2 until here is vw2 this is vertical so vf2 this is vr2 okay so i hope you understand this again i am telling you that v1 this is this enters radially so it will make 90 degree here okay this is also be 90 degree so it will not have the horizontal component okay only vertical component will be there which is v1 and this will also equal to vf1 okay and due to the blade velocity the tangential velocity will be in this direction which is u1 because u is tangential velocity of impeller okay so this will have a relative velocity as it enter with this velocity so it will get exit with this velocity relative velocity at 2 okay and again the u will be in this direction so i have drawn this here u and again let us uh, complete the triangle this this will be the absolute velocity okay so i hope you understand till here this is the basic of velocity triangle how to draw the velocity triangle of centrifugal pump in uh, our next video we will take the work done by centrifugal pump which is again going to be interesting and uh, there is a bit derivation which is not properly given in the book so please uh, stay tuned with the videos see you in the next video thank you